Sicilian defense, canal attack, 3, and d7-4.00. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening. Opening with the king's pawn controls the center and opens up the light squared bishop and queen, often leading to sharp games. The Sicilian defense controls the d4 square with c pawn. Nf3 develops the knight toward the center to prepare for a d4 pawn push, where the knight will recapture if black captures on d4. d6 opens up the light squared bishop and prevents white from pushing the pawn to e5 after black eventually plays nf6. Bb5 plus forces black react to this early check and prepares for white to castle. Nd7 develops the knight and stops the check. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. This kicks an opposing bishop. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is the last book move. This prepares the bishop for development. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is good. One of the best moves. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. The bishop is ready to be developed to an active square. It is good. This is the strongest option. It is best. A very strong play. It is excellent. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This exposes an attack, threatening a rook. It is good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. Recaptures. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. White played a bit better than black in the opening.